I was sitting in a restaurant in Guelph feeling good about myself because I had managed to convert my arrogance into more socially acceptable behavior, such as my charming cynicism, laced with an ironic air of, I don't give a fuckingness. <laughs> when a group of teenagers exploded into the place with little to no grace, leaving a bad taste in my mouth because they had shattered the silent social masquerade in which we all participate, the game where we try to be cool without looking like we trying to be cool. <laughs> but this gaggle of youth with limited vocabulary looked oh so unique in their common effort to look oh so unique <laughs> and as wave after wave of their carefree laughter washed over my spicy sausage and pepper penne i began to hate them <laughs> what gave them the right to be so happy when my man on the left said most adults got to get drunk to feel that carefree and now i hated him because he had a good point. <laughs> Don't we wish we were all that carefree again? You know what I mean? Because in Somalia, you're a soldier at 13. And did you hear the story about the girl who's kidnapped? God knows what they did to her while she was trapped. She cried and cried. They cut off her hands so she wouldn't be identified. And as she escaped in the middle of the night, naked and hurt, she shoved her bloody stumps in the dirt so she wouldn't bleed out. The next day, a motorist found her running by the road. A happy ending, I suppose. Me, I saw my dad beat the shit out of my mom. I must have been four or five. He looked me in the eye and told me not to cry as the ambulance took her away. They were divorced the next day. I remember sitting in the basement watching my dad take the stairs two steps at a time and I couldn't wait to grow up so I could take the stairs two steps at a time because I wanted to be just like him. I want to get excited about birthdays again because that is the suppressed carefree child within me. The same child whose dad never taught him how to throw a curveball, who never taught him about Thelonious Monk, who never taught him about poetry, who never taught him how to shave, who never taught him how to be a man. And now I stand with microphone in hand judging a gaggle of youth by the hostess stand and I am I'm so cool, cause I feel superior to kids still in high school. <laughs> and before these negative feelings faded, I wonder when I became so jaded, sitting in a restaurant in Guelph, feeling good about myself.